<laughs> 10 Canadian seconds is correct. It actually took a little bit longer than I thought to restart the stream. Yeah, it rained over in uh, New York. Oh, snowed. I was going to say rain. That's kind of normal. Snowed in New York. My gosh. I think the low speed really kills this one. Hmm. I mean, I, I never got the hang in this weapon, actually. Um. Like, maybe maybe this is the one you go. I, guess I, I didn't mind this, actually. I thought I was doing pretty good. I don't like having the charge of weapons in games. Just not a fan of that, personally. Oh, what do we got? Mario. Hmm, sounds good. Iron Heart is probably amazing, but I can't in an armor box. Nah. What the fuck? Oh, I was gonna say it's it's snowing because I feel floaty as shit. Like not not good floaty at all. Oh, this is just nasty. Look at this, like, ugh. Well, somehow I got hit in there. I have no idea what hit me. Um, maybe a turtle explosive or something? I don't recall one hitting me, but apparently. Um, well, I do recall those, like, just, oh my god, snow levels are not fun. Like, I, I know, you know, developers are like, ooh, it's like a challenge. Uh, it's just not fun. Sorry, um. Net never fun having to do this shit. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's two. I also hate the fact the um, the enemies can attack you under those, but you can't shoot under them because uh, there's no crouch feature in the game. It's just like lovely. Uh, well, we want to kill this thing first. Go, not too bad. I suppose guys took a little more shots than normal kill. Would you charge a weapon if it gave you high damage? Well, that's what this thing does, right? Like, it does more damage when charged. Um, like, this thing, like, I'll, I'll charge a weapon. I'm certainly doing it now. I don't like to, though. I, I just don't like. Um, the, the strain it puts on, like, my wrist and stuff, you know, I don't find that a fun mechanic. Um, anyone with wrist issues will know exactly what I'm talking about. I like stuff that you can just hold down and shoot, or I like stuff that you can twitch shoot. You know, a little tap a tap a tap It's just me. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, I thought the exploding barrel was going to go off. Oh well. At least it's only a small level. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to kill the boss. Like, three health is o It's okay. Like, I can probably do the- Oh, there is a guy still alive. What the shit? What are you doing up there? Um, the, the problem is the sliding shit. Like, I, I can barely even get upstairs. Yeah, sorry. It's all good, Origami. Being a chef is not kind to my wrists either, but I love it. I'm not sure what killed that guy, to be honest with you. And the drop on these, it's a little bit tricky. Would I rather charge for more damage or have to wait much longer to reload animation? Reload, for sure. Because, if you think of it, reload and charge are the same thing. Like, if you have a cooldown based shot, like, say, um, an energy-based sniper versus a pullback crossbow, right? I'd much rather have a bar where I'm like, fire, and then do 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 than the exactly same thing. Because if you think about it, charge is exactly the same thing. It's just you have to actively be holding it while you're going do 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 Like, do you see what I mean? And it's just unnecessary strain on everything. 
my opinion. Like I, like, I don't mind it so much. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. You know, things are happening. I just mean, like, I, I'd much rather this was a, a cooldown based thing for sure. That's, yeah, that's a good way. Alright, let's buy Mario here. Oh. So I can jump again to... Okay, just saying... Do a mushroom or something? Or, like, fuck. Um, don't put a fire flower. Call it Mario. And then give you a ground pound ability. That's just dumb. Like, no one... No one would think ground pound. Um, Mario couldn't even ground pound until... Um, like, Mario 64, I think, was the first one, so... Certainly not one of his more famous mechanics. Ah, uh, no, I... Could he ground pound in Su Super Mario World? Maybe. No, I didn't hear anything from Warframe, so... Yeah, that is a, a dead beast. You'll notice I haven't even logged in either. Um, I suppose silent protest is one way of putting it, but it's just one of those things, like... You know, if a company is an ass, I don't find the need to support them either, so... Holy shit, this guy. Not the end of the world. This guy is going to be a problem. Okay, well, dodging this guy while I'm floating around is kind of even fucking possible. Yeah. Yeah, it's so fun, you, you click jump and then your guy like spins out of control. That's exciting. I think I was fine with that weapon. Um, the sad thing is, I think that's the highest speed you can get at the start. Oh, this one has higher. <sighs> but even less health and shitty damage and fire rate, so, I mean, meh. Yeah, silent salt, there you go, bro. Can I ask you a question? Like, is there a story to this game? Because if you call something paranautical activity, I... I Make the assumption I'm on like a fucking boat. Which cl clearly I'm not. Oh, oh, what the fuck? The shark can go under there? But I can't. That's cool. Alright, well, there's something up there. I'll never be able to get it though. Fucking sharks. Oh shit. Okay, again, I'm not really sure what happened there. There's some sort of explosion. Come on. You fucker. Where's the uh, the big guys? Oh, the other one died. Not sure it killed him. Oh, I wish I could jump higher. Get all the money up there. Oh, you do what you gotta do, Origami. That I'm not I'm not saying anything to anyone. I still think the game's fun. Oh fuck! That that is such such a bullshit spawn. I hate it whenever they put the demon like right beside you, just pre-firing at you. Um, I mean, I could have probably dodged the second shot. Not really in this room. Um, there's nowhere to move, but uh, probably. But that is kind of horseshit. Oh well. Not much I can do about it. I can't get the heart that's up there because I can't jump. Oh, I did get it. Nice. Did eventually pull to me. How far away do they pull? A decent amount, I guess. Not the end of the world. So I heard this game was supposed to have multiplayer, too. Um, and the dev, in his infinite wisdom, um, changed his mind. Because he realized it was hard. And honestly, I'm not against that. Um, Multiplayer is really hard. I think most people are stupid and think multiplayer is easy. Um, but it's it's actually very, very hard to put in a game. Um, I, but I don't think you should say you're going to put something in and then not do it. What the fuck? Story. Update Microsoft Security Essentials. Why? Since when did that happen? But anyway, so you, so you woke up inside a fuck huge boat and you're ascending floors to try and escape. 
You know what game did that good? Actually, is 999. That was very good. Alright. Uh, what's this room? This is one thing that drives me like crazy. Right? You guys ready for this? What? Like, there's... What the fuck? How, how are these doors working? Like, why are there two doors? You know? That's just weird, right? That's not just me? So now we're talking. Gilead's gun was kind of shit. Oh. Blowfish gun. Oh, I remember that one. I use shit, but... You know, I, I can hold it. So... I think I'm probably better off with the crossbow, to be honest, but, uh, yeah, whatever. I mean, we have, like, a crazy high fire rate stat, which probably affects our charge for a crossbow. I'm not sure. I would assume so, or else why do I have a very high fire rate stat? But certainly, this is, um, awesome on the bosses and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's true. Nothing makes sense in dreams. Yeah. What do you got for me? Spinach. Increased health and throw bombs farther. Okay. I wouldn't have... I uh, wouldn't imagine that, but I'll take it. Did Pop Is Popeye known for throwing bombs? Maybe. Um, not as far as I can recall from the comics, and certainly not from the Robin Williams movie. Um, but Robin Williams is known for throwing bombs as Peter Pan, so... There you go. One swings in the room you're in, the other swings in the room you're previously. That's just so weird. Do you know what I mean? Like, like I'm not crazy, it's kind of weird, right? Oh, this is the veil! Moby douche. What's up, my man? Yeah, okay, I, I kind of like this gun. It's fun. I, I don't know if it's the best, but... It's, oh, shit. Okay, we gotta kill the ads, because... I'm not the best at dodging bullets. <laughs> As is. Certainly putting more of these fuckaroos in, especially when they fly. That's not cool. Alright, one. And I wonder if you can farm the ads for money. I wonder if you just keep spawning them. You'll know, notice there I changed uh, my rotation. Generally not recommended. In one of these games, you normally just keep rotating in the same sort of vague, circle-ish thing. Come here. Speaking of, you guys ever uh, rebuilt the Mothman? Or seen the movie? Uh, which is actually, you know, as far as those kind of movies go, Mothman's not too bad. Yeah, I noticed they have a bit of a, a homing capability, yep. And, uh, just makes everything complicated, you know? Whoa, you see that one? It was, like, doing circles around me. So I could use my blowfish gun here. What do you got for me? Blubber. Oh, that slows me down, though, doesn't it? Gives me a lot of HP, though. But I'm pretty sure it slows me the fuck down. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm slow as fuck now. Oh, well. Tesla coil. Don't know what that does. Gangus' soul. What do you think Tesla coil does? Hopefully, electric. Um, see, the problem is this probably isn't good, but I gotta buy it just so I know. Increase super weapon charge. Meh. Oh, I got more maximum. Alright, that's fine. Um, obviously trying to give a similar effect to like a battery from Isaac. Um, you can see where this game's paying a large amount of homage. Well, yeah, but that's the interesting thing, in my opinion, about the Mothman, right? is it's not like your traditional monster. It's not supposed to be scary. You know, it's documenting, well, air quotes, but it's talking about an urban legend uh, or myth, uh, which does have real-life documentation, which is kind of cool. Um, so it's not supposed to be scary. It's supposed to be like, 
Oh, it's kind of neat, you know what I mean? Well, I, I wonder if, um, you know, you, you're never supposed to take blubber. Uh, I wonder if the whale boss is just one of those ones that just make people really angry when they're doing their, their pro speed run strats and it's like, damn, it's the whale! I don't want this shit. <laughs> Probably. See, these are the rooms I like, like where there's a, a lot going on. There's multiple floors. No, I don't. I don't mind. Oh, surprised that damaged me actually. Um, like I don't mind the other ones. I'm just saying, like I like these ones. I think they're fun. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Almost didn't see those sharks. I mean, I, I saw them, but I didn't think they were enemies. First, I thought it was a weird pickup. There's a lot of explosions here. Is that guy still invisible? Yeah, there he is. Oh, fuck. I, I really gotta figure out the explosion radius. That one I knew was gonna hit me. Um, I was just already holding down the button, so... You know. I was in. Okay, unfortunately I don't know how well this is gonna work on this guy, because... Seems to go for the spiders, although it's definitely going to help with the spiders, so we have that in our favor. So I'm not sure how well I can kite the spiders as a fat motherfucker. Now, the thing I don't like about the blowfish is, of course, it uh, not even worth it. Let a boss die the poison. Unlocks blowfish item. But I, I have the blowfish. What? Insidious. I haven't seen that one. Oh, floating bombs, I'm sure is actually terrible as well. Um, but maybe it's good. Oh, shit. Damn it, shirk. Damn it! So is this, does this gun do poison damage, or is it the... Presumably the blowfish does. Ha! <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. You can, you can see the little fish, like, staring at you. You see him? He's like, oh, no! I like that. That's cool. Reminds me of like a Commander Keen type, but what the fuck? Where were you? I was trying to find you forever, man. Oh shit. Okay. Gotta watch out for these melee guys there. A little bit of pain. Um, last scary movie I saw was... Um, I think Hellraiser? Right, Hellraiser. I watched that uh, two months ago or something with Kalen. I don't know. I don't really watch scary movies um, anymore. I like them a lot, but I've seen so many, um, and they don't really come out with new good ones, in my opinion. Okay, Book of Tar price slows me down, right? Presumably. Well, Jejeterati Defibrillator. Yeah, it's a deal. Revives enemies. Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. So it's effectively um, from Isaac. Forget me not. Oh, cool, Bar. Thanks. Well, I can. Let's, let's try. The oil can probably speeds me up, right? Damage up. What the fuck? Whatever. If anything increased my... Yeah. Yep, yep. No, I I, I figured that out, board. And that's what I mean, right? Like, this game definitely feels like... Oh, hey, guys. We're totally not that Isaac game. Let me just put in all the items from Isaac. Okay. I don't mind so much. Um, that guy killed himself with the explosion that he hit there, and it damaged me below the platform, which is interesting. Oh my gosh. We're just going to go this way. 
fuck yo jumping puzzle. We'll see if we can afford that uh, that bucket of tar. I'm really hoping it's um. Oh shit. Yeah, with our, our low speed, you just kind of die. I'm not sure how you're supposed to play this with low speed, actually. Um, mostly sort of twitchy, running gunny games. Um, low speed is, is what gets you killed. Certainly Isaac, again, that's another problem. Alright, here we go. What do we get? Full ammo. Right, a bucket of tar is full ammo. Uh huh. Now, uh, and anyone who's actually played Isaac uh, will have a slight idea here. Um, one of the nice things about Isaac is, you know, some people will be like, LOL, so random, I picked up an item and now my shots shoot the electricals. Um, y yeah. But, like, the thing is, in Isaac, everything kind of makes sense. I mean, it's not like LOL random, you know. Oh, you picked up the technology. You can shoot lasers. It looks like a freaking laser. Oh, what the heck? It spawns the same boss? That's not what I would have imagined. A bit random, okay. Kind of thought we'd get, like, a new boss. Um, I mean, I don't mind so much. I guess. Easy to kill. I just already have your, your weapon. Aw, oh, see, we can't even get his fucking thing again. That's kind of dumb. What the fuck am I looking at here? Did the game just break? Oh, the game broke. Oh, I can't leave. Hmm. Well, that's uh, 10 out of 10 programming there. What the fuck is this? Well, at least we saw how the double doors works. Um, that's interesting. Well, I guess we're going down the next level then. It's fine, I didn't want to explore anything. Kill the triddle first. Classic play. Oh, I thought it died, but it just dove down. It's pretty good on its part, you know. Certainly got me. But that's kind of a cool, uh... Alright. Do the enemies take damage from lava? No. Well, that's hella fair. Okay. What do we got in my shop -y? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this wasn't the shop -y. I was the, uh... Get him! I I'd prefer you get this guy, too, maybe a little bit, but that's okay. Whatever. Hmm. What do you give me? Okay, what? Trigger finger. Fire rate up. Sure. Is there a stat page? There's no stat page. No. Well, presumably I'm like max fire rate at this point. Um, well, I'm not not really sure it matters so much with this weapon. I swear, some, some like the shot hitbox isn't. I'd... What bombs? Oh. Does that make I'm immune to explosions or just bombs? We're not going to go in here in case the boss room bugs again. Uh, I assume that has something to do with the Digita Reviver shit, but... Again, I'm not 100%, so... Until we can replicate that, we're just going to play it safe. Okay, the moths are dead. I'm just going to... Oh, I think so, anyway. Was there one more? I thought I saw a shot for a second. It might have just been turtle, though. Hello, Mr. Triddle. I mean, if this wasn't a $15 game, it feels like, you know, discount um, Isaac, right? <laughs> or like Tower of Guns. But yeah, it definitely feels like discount Isaac. 
So what do we got here? Um, oh, whoops, went on the wrong side. Chosen one sounds cool. I like the sound of that. See if we can get enough money for it. Probably not. Um, I may re-roll the shop. Um, see if we get enough money on this floor. Oh shit! Oops. The sword guy is uh, especially nasty when you don't have um, speed. Although I'm sure there's just one of those things like they always attack, um, you know, to the the right of where they are, like some something similar to that. So if, if you know which way you can jump, much like enemies in well, other games are semi predictable. We're gonna kill these because I'm gonna be running around this room like a fool. There we go. Uh, you're a problem. Did I kill him? Yeah. And just one more of these guys. There he is. Yeah, they're not the end of the world. Just require sort of knowing how their um, their slash works. I'm just gonna clear up these a little bit. Hey, friends. Oh, shit, there's more. Oh, my God, though. Mr. Wubstep just kicked in. Let's uh, drop some... Sp oh, no, I only wanted to shoot, like, two of those, but whatever. It's fine. Just want to use the spiny blowfish on these moth guys. So they're not super fun to deal with. Well... Uh, it's cool that the enemies can die of those traps, though. So. This music, though, it's like, it's one of those things, I'm, I'm not sure... I don't know, here's my issue with music, right? It's not exactly... Like, good enough or bad enough to love. You know what I mean? It's not like, um... Like, some games have, you know, amazing music. I mean, one of my favorite composers is, uh, uh, Nobuo Ometsu, or whatever, the Final Fantasy guy. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, obviously, I'm not asking for that, you know, obviously, level for a game like this. However, um, what I was getting to is, if you look at Killing Floor, the music in Killing Floor is very awful. It is shitty garage band with terrible screams in it, you know what I mean? Like, it's bad. That said, I really like it. Um, oh fuck, what? I don't know if you guys saw that, but I fired the blowfish and it like shot behind me when there was like three guys right in front of me. But uh... Yeah, it's just one of those things, like... Killing Floor music is awful, but it's endearingly awful. It is really, really bad. But something about it just... I, I can't not, you know what I mean? I, I like it. I think it adds a lot to the charm of the game. Whereas this is like, eh, you know. Yeah. It's, it's just not bad enough to be bad. And it's not good enough for me to go, hell yeah, rockin' tunes. But. The, ga the gameplay is actually quite, uh. Quite fun. Which is really all that matters. Obviously, you can mute the game. And that's what any shitty dev will be. Like, just mute the game if you don't like it. Well, okay. Yeah, I, I could. Um, I could. Oh, did these guys explode? Hang on. These enemies explode, I think. Uh, we're going to try something. Yeah, I am immune to explosions now. Ooh. Okay, I wasn't sure if that uh, blast shield we picked up worked for everything or just bombs. I'm not going to chance lava. I'm going to make the assumption I'm not immune to that. What? The starting room is like grayed out for some reason. Not sure what's going on with that. Also the map's kind of dying a little. Oh, I can't buy the chosen one. Shit. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna re-roll the shop. See what happens here. I forget what the button is though. Uh, we might be in, be able to buy the chosen one after we kill the boss, if the boss doesn't lock us in. Oh, octopus. 
Looks like octopus. Yeah. Now my one complaint so far, and I mean, I, I'm okay. Here we go. Never mind. I take it back. I take it back already. Excellent. My one complaint was just going to be that the the bosses are extremely simple, uh, and that you just rotate around them and kill them. That would have been true for this one as well, um, but he, he, you know he got a little bigger. What do we got here? Speed up. Thank you. That's actually really nice. Um, now that one, if I had more speed, it would have actually just been rotate around and kill. So I unfortunately can't buy you, Mr. Chosen One. A shot again. No thanks. Propeller. Hmm. Fire rate up. Right, that seems pretty fast. I would have made the assumption that fire rate up meant, uh, or like propeller meant speed as well, but that's fine. Alright, in we go, boys. Into the breach, as it were. Okay, well, I'm getting fucked. There, there's a lot of crazy shit going down right there. I didn't appreciate it. Interesting to note, it doesn't seem like there's a um, period of invulnerability. Okay, are the skulls being spawned somewhere? Or what's up with that? There's just like 10,000 skulls up there? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's just music. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, hover, hover. Yep, that would have made sense too. Well, hello, Poseidon. You summon exploding fish. I'm immune to explosions. Now what? I've countered your most basic of attacks. Um, I'm also a sucker for enemies that have you know second form, third forms. You don't need to have every boss have it. Um, but again, you know. It's cool if they do. Um, and we've had a couple of those here. Which I, I do like. Okay. More loot. I was going to say, it looked like a horseshoe, but it came from Poseidon. So I was like, it can't be a horseshoe. It was a horseshoe. Um, oh shit, I'm stuck in that. Not the end of the world. Could have been a lot better for us. I actually, you know what? I should go be a responsible boyfriend and uh, wake up Kaylin. Because I'm pretty sure she was supposed to get up 30 minutes ago, and she hasn't. Okay, we know Mario's shit. Poison bombs, probably. Sh Another bucket of tar. Um, hmm. Uh, I don't need any more ammo, thanks. I'm not sure why this room is uh, gray still. Okay, okay. The skulls are a problem because we're slow as shit. Everything else I think we can manage. Um, it's not really worth testing out right now. I mean, the run's not in a great spot. Certainly if I had full health, I'd do it. I wonder if the turtle can even damage us at all since we're immune to explosions. We know the Mothman can. Yeah, it's, I think it did actually just hurt me. Oh, or maybe it was this guy. Fuck, I don't know now. Alright, what are you? Oh, fuck. Alright, well I want to try for that. Okay, well those past three, it's only the blades hurt you. Uh, the lighthouse is actually worth a lot of money, so if we get it, it's worth. Yep. See if that was all over. Have more armor than health. Hmm. Got padded. Uh, getting out of here, though, I think we got a this and then this. I don't think I can make that jump. So, there, easy. Anyway, yes, yeah, shit. 
I'm gonna go wake up Kayla and just check. Sorry, guys. 20 seconds. Yeah, she didn't go to bed till like 1, so she's tired. She tried to stay up and wait for me. I like those challenge rooms, though. That was fun. I like that in games. Oh, shit. No, not the moss! Okay, we're just going to solve this the uh, the easy way. You know. But anybody with their, <laughs> their right mind would do. Oh, man. Okay, so... I'm not sure how you're supposed to dodge the homing. It feels like... <laughs> For some reason, it feels like with the homing attacks, like, the closer you are, the more homing ability they get, because that's actually the opposite of how it should work. Like, so, say I'm the, you know, here's the boss, I'm right here. The homing attack should, like, go and then, like, start to track me, right? Like, it should slowly bend towards me. If I'm moving around Mach 90 in a close circle, it shouldn't be able to hit me. If I'm at the far end of the room, it's got more time to, like, traverse to where I am. Do you know what I mean? It shouldn't just instantly like 90 degree. Um, you know, that that's just me. Um, and how all homing works in games. Oh, that's cool, borrowed. Um, lighthouse is the scapular. Um, anyway, yeah, sadly, Kaylin was supposed to get up at 7, yeah. Yeah, and then I go in there, I'm like, hey, aren't you supposed to be awake? And she's like, ten minutes, and it's like, hmm. So, um, I'm going to go try and make her morning a little better, make some breakfast and stuff like that. Um, I'll be back on later, guys, um, probably after board goes to bed. I mean, origami, do you think, just woke up, you said. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, if I don't see you, I'll talk to you tonight, and good night, and all that kind of cool stuff. Otherwise, um, yeah, I'll see you later today, for sure. Pardon me. Good night. Give her a hug for the stream. We'll do, man. <laughs>